welcome back to our channel, Twinny Beauty. Beauty. I'm Jenna. I'm Jamie. If you're not already, make sure you are uh, following us on Instagram at underscore Twinny Beauty underscore. And as you can see, it's our favorite, favorite time, of the time of the month, our boxy charm. Um, it's not as bad as the last issue boxy charm had, but. They switched their uh, carriers to on track, which was a huge mistake. Come on, Boxy Charm. Um, yeah, on track sucks. Um, so we had no idea where our Boxy yeah, Charm was at all. Yeah, our box for at least a week had no idea where it was. It just kept. But saying it said it was expected pending. day. Yeah, I said it expected, was expected, and then it was the day after, and it still said expected. Yeah, it it just never like showed up until it actually. Well, it's like a town that's 45 minutes away from us. I could have drove and gone and gone. We in. live far from where they actually pre have BoxyCharm, like the headquarters. So they it shipped from there to a town 45 minutes away from us. And no idea where it was at that time. And then it showed up. Uh, mine showed up like two days before it even was supposed to because it changed their it's expected Mine never day. changed, but then it was, it um, was at my door. Yeah, it was a mess. Oh, yeah, and they just leave it at your door. I heard people were saying Nor that doorbell, they nothing. don't uh, deliver to P.O. boxes. So if you have a P.O. box, they were holding it. And then other people were saying that it was stolen off their doorstep and melted, this and that. I would have been OnTrack pissed. doesn't have, they're not allowed to deliver to mailboxes. So it's just really insecure. And well, I live in an apartment, so it could have easily gone to the wrong because mine go by letters with the same number. It's yeah, it's I would have been pissed. Yeah. So um, I'd say it's probably another boxy charm debacle. Is that what we called it last time? Yeah, yeah. Forget on, on track. Come on, boxy charm, get just, it together. Get just it stick together. with the post office. Come on. But I was excited when I saw the fat chubby box because you always know there's gonna be something good in it when it's a fat chubby box, and we got what we wanted yeah we did get what we wanted so um and we got the same exact box this time this time i for sure we got the same yes. box i think i don't know i feel like there's always an item that's off and we i thought we got the same thing pretty we sure we got so let's see so let's talk about there's two products that we won't be trying now because it's skincare oh, yeah. i'm all for skincare i love it a little odd though when you have two skincares but, oh, let's let's get oh. back into... I was like, wait, you got... Th I got three. Oh, okay, yeah, I was going to say, yeah. We'll I'm go with the wonder. face. I'm, I'm like, we love face masks, so we can't be mad at that. So, um, this is the Wonder... Hold that up. What is it called? The Oh, my God. How about you no, try pronouncing no that? <laughs> um, haru, 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 Haru. Wonder Maki Berry Antioxidant Maki Berry. Mask Trio Pack. I can read that part. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm not exactly sure what it's supposed to I do. I actually did not but... like the, the paper mask before. I'm like, I want to rub, like, cream on my face or something. Oh, but I actually yeah. like it now. I do. You know what? It's mess-free. You just put it yes. on your face. I think that's the main thing. I don't have to wipe, like, wash my hands thoroughly afterwards to try to get the Or try to make sure hands. everything's even, mm -hmm. like the charcoal you just, mask. You just lay it on and wait your 10, 15 minutes, take it off, and it rub it in. Good. Yeah, and usually it feels really good. So I actually do really I like it. The only thing I don't like is that, like, I always try to hoard them. I'm like, I can't use all. I don't. Oh, I you want know what? To have I still them. have them. I hope they're still good. I think so. I still, okay. I still have one Tatcha left. I've been hanging on to that one. I really, really Me like too. it. Yeah. Okay, and then the next item. I'm. Go ahead. I actually, I'm excited for this one too. Um, it's the whipped cleansing cream. What is it? Um, Skin and Co. Roma Truffle Therapy Whip Cleansing Cream. Mm -hmm. Um, I kind of broke the seal a little bit because. It smells it really smell? good. It, it smells really right. Good. I kept. I didn't want to break the seal yet, so I didn't smell it. Yeah. What does that smell like? Like a little bit of coconut in it. That was the main thing I could smell. Coconut and why does that smell like baby lotion? Kind of like baby lotion mixed with coconut. I love. I do. I love. I love lotion. baby lotion. So I can't hate on that. So truffle therapy. Hmm. Ooh, sounds funny. So yeah, I'd definitely be using this. Uh, made in Italy. Oh, cute. So yeah, we will definitely be trying that one. Um, I guess keep with the skin, we'll do the no, I know. Technically, no. if you think about it, it's three skincare. I count primer as skincare because I usually always no use it. No pro 
Poor blim. No poor blim. So this is, is that right? yeah, no poor blim. It's Prime a pun. Essence. Um, so it's the same brand of that little jar, little bottle, the glass bottle that we got. Remember, it was a couple boxes ago. I wasn't like that much of a fan of it. Like it was all right. I don't feel like it really filled in Touch my pores. Touch soul. I feel like we have we gotten other products from them. That was the other no pore blim primer. It was the same brand. And I feel like we might have got something else. It was a else. primer, not mm -hmm. a prime essence. Yeah, this is a prime essence. I still essence. don't know what a prime essence is. So, I do not know either. It says this primer tightens up your pores, keeping your skin silky, silky smooth. Okay. I mean, I'm all for that. Yeah. I got some, I don't know if we're supposed to shake it or not. I got some big pores to tighten, well, so. you should read the directions before you just Pretty sure you just it. shake. How to use at least a... At uh, the last step of skincare, apply a moderate amount and gently um, pat over skin until it is fully absorbed. So yeah, I don't think you have to shake it. Oh, no. okay. That's oh oh oh! Wow, Jamie, don't squeeze it. They like, don't squeeze it unless you're ready to to use it. I don't even know how much. How much? Well, you're we're gonna pat it on, so I have like I have like that much. So I guess I'm gonna put it between both. I my guess hands. Um, I should talk about part in the hat right now. Um, oh yeah, you should. I have my um, first session of uh, getting my eyebrows microbladed. I had to get my old um, permanent makeup, which I had gotten like eight, nine years ago. A long time ago. I never had to touch up either, and I had to get, I it, guess I they had a heavy hand on this side, because she said that this side might take a little bit longer, but I'm getting the old tattoo removed. I had a little bit of... Um, Did they just call that just shading, or was it just called permanent makeup? It was just called permanent makeup. But it was pretty much <laughs> shading because shading, yeah. they, didn't um, have, they didn't have microblading. Because yeah, yeah. when I was talking to the girls um, at the place I'm going to, um, they even told me like probably back then. This smells like baby lotion too, or am I not tripping? Done. It makes you, it gives you a sticky base. I mean, oh yeah. So Jenna cannot oh. touch her eyebrows. So I'm just gonna do it down here on our eyebrows. And I'm covering it because I and literally just had it done um, earlier today. Yeah, a few and hours ago. Yeah. They're a uh, little little bloody, I guess. Yeah. But um, so I'm end, trying to protect them. Yes. But with microblading, you're gonna have to get it touched up. Like, oh yeah. I think it's no, only no, no. good for. It's semi-permanent. Yeah. Um, and they definitely use different ink now. Is even what she was oh, saying because okay. you can definitely tell that you know mine kind of. It, it, it was it faded to like a pinkish color right. something that I really hated I over, always covered up with um, eyebrow pencil that's why you always saw me on camera with my eyebrows done because yeah. you know I really was a little self-conscious I guess yeah. about it mm -hmm. and so that's kind of why I'm hiding it right now um, but definitely it's gonna look good in the long run um, I'm super excited to get a micro well it's gonna be a combo yeah yeah, which is good. I I've like always that been a fan of hair like strokes, so that's why I'm, yes. I mean, we, as you can tell with my eyebrows, we don't have much to work with, so. No, no. Years no, of no. over plucking really to catch up with you. You don't think Definitely about it. Definitely me. Yeah. Me more than you, but yeah, um, for sure. Because the hair doesn't even grow back. I was even talking to Lady about it, like, the hair just, it does just grow. very sparsely. Yeah. And very sparse So places, annoying. So, yeah. Um, Okay, well, our next item is going to be base product. So let's go ahead and um, get the rest of our base done, and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Yes. And next item. Yeah, let's go ahead for the next item. We have another Tarte item. I love Tarte. Oh. So this is the Tardiest Pro Glow 3. I think we got the same thing. Let's make sure. Yeah, I don't see know. a shade or anything like that, so I. Don't I like know. how like. I know it's really really nice. Oh yeah, I think it's the same. Right. Mhm. Mm you can see all the shades. So yeah, of course, our blush row, highlight oh, row, and bronzer there's, row. There's uh, some names on the back. Premiere, dance floor, headliner, a lister, autograph, and backstage. backstage. Yeah. Okay, we did get the exact same. They yeah. look the same. This is a really, really nice. I love the uh, packaging on this. is really nice. It's really, I really like, like heavy all duty. These colors. And yeah, everything looks like it's gonna be nice because you have like your um, warm shades and cool shades on all three. So yeah, I really like this. It's beautiful. I was gonna be so mad if we got another palette. 
I'm sorry, but I'm not a fan of tart eyeshadows. Especially the little circular ones because they're always really neutral, which is fine. I like neutral. But yeah, I'm just not a fan of their eyeshadows. I would have been fine with the eyeshadow palette. Oh. But I wanted this more yeah. just yeah. because I like the way it looked and I was mm -hmm. like excited for it. Yeah. And you know I want what you got because I'd be mad. Oh, I know. One of us would be mad if we had something different or if one of us didn't get this. Yes. Okay, so I guess we'll start with the bronzer first. What are you gonna go in with? I was gonna think the lighter one. It's not lighter, it's cool. It's cool tone, warm tone. Okay. I guess I'll go in with the warm. I don't know how to go in with these bronzers sometimes because you never know how Ooh. pigmented they're gonna be. That's a nice shade. You still have to use the cool tone one because I want to see what it looks like. I like to just take a little pinch it and then just take a little bit down the edge of my nose. Not really a, really carving it out or anything, but it does give it a little bit of a bit of structure. Okay, I was about to say, well, what are you gonna use? Okay, I didn't bring my brushes today. My bad. Um, what else is new? It's not true. Um, go on with that one. Yeah, does it have shimmer compared to the other one? I don't know. It looks like it does. I like sh sh shimmer. I like shimmer. It does. Yeah, it looks like it has a, like a little bit more glow to it than the other one. Can you see it? Yeah. Okay, so then I guess I'm gonna nice stick to the warmer side. I'm like, oh, time. So, can, can you tell? Like, can you tell how that one looks a little bit more cool tone? This one's like more warm tone, so kind of think red and blue. That's how I think of it. Hmm. I guess I'll do the warm tone. Are you gonna do the cool tone of the blush? Blushes, I love both, so. Mm -hmm. Bronzers, sometimes I don't like the warm bronzers because they almost pull too red, but this one was just good enough. Like, wasn't too red. Whoa. There's a lot of kickback on that. I'm not seeing anything, are you? Yeah, yeah. I see a little bit of color to it. Well, it puts a lot on the brush, like you can see it on the brush. Let me just kick that shit on. Oh, there you go. I do like this. Kind of crush my nose. Okay, so I guess this one. Kept going with that one. Wait, this one is called Premiere. Why can't you, you did just the say dance floor. Warm tone, wait? Cool tone. Is it? I That's my always my problem with those. I can't tell if it's supposed to be like exactly behind it or backwards or you know what I mean. Oh my gosh, I thought I stained this. I was like, <gasps> it's just the letters. You need some more on there. I can't even see it. Ooh, that is pretty. Oh yeah. They're like very, the very one. subtle. Which is a good thing. Besides. I'd rather build up than have to try to cover. That's always usually my problem is when I'm trying to cover something up. Is it a bit too much? Oh yeah, that's really good. I just doubt it. Okay, Let me guess, you didn't bring a highlighter brush either. I didn't bring it. You were I so brought my. Okay, you brought yourself. I brought my box feature and I brought myself. <sighs> oh, oh whose eyeliner funny. did you use? No, oh, you did bring eyeliner. Nope. Um, you started with the warm. You guys stick with the warm. Toned highlighters. Okay, I'm I'm gonna stick to the warm. Actually, if you want to switch, I'll do the other one because I like that more. Okay, so I'm gonna do the pink then. Yay! Ooh. Oh, I'm super excited about this. I think this is my favorite item so far from this thing, and I think it was going to be. So yeah, I'll wipe it off a little bit. 
Okay, okay, it's very cute, but how practical are these ears? Like seriously. I know, I was like, mm, which one do I look in? Oh, oh like that. Ears, though. The only negative I would say is I can see the glitter. Like, like it's very textured. Textured highlight, which is okay. It's popping. Yeah, but do you see how it's kind of like textured? Sure. I like it. Yeah, that's no, not bad. Um, I would say my favorite. Wait, we're not done yet. No, I mean out of like the blush, bronzer, highlight. I would say I probably like, oh, I don't know, I do like the blush and the bronzer. Highlight, I like all three. You would. I like that they gave me options though to go warm or cool, so. Mm -hmm. Tarte, this job. should be my go-to now for bronzer and highlight. Oh uh, yeah. All in one. I know. But, I mean, I still like that cover effects palette that we got too, and I was just like, man, now I gotta, I guess it's good to switch it up. That's one thing I don't do a lot, especially if I do my just a natural, well, natural bright eye, bright eyeshadow look. I usually kind of tend to use the same thing, so that's natural for me. Okay, um, one last thing, which I'm I like. Do you know who Dominique is? No. She's a YouTuber. Dominique Cosmetics yes. Lemonade Lip Gloss. Yes, we have a Dominique Cosmetics lip gloss. I love her logo. I think it's so cute on her packaging. Very, very cute. And I think we got the same shade. Lemonade. I think mean, there's two peach shades. Tea. Yeah. Strawberry lemonade and peach tea. We That's what it tea. was, yeah. Which I'm happy. I'd rather have the more nude one out of Is it, I didn't pink, know I didn't know it was um that was a difference in color. They almost looked exactly the same. Yeah, and one's just a little bit more pink than the other, but I think this packaging is super cute. It's really, really cute. Oh yeah. I like the smell of it too. People were complaining because it doesn't smell like lemons. Like lemonade. It's supposed to smell like lemonade? Well, because it's called um, lemonade lip gloss. Did we even say that? It's called lemonade lip gloss. So like, why wouldn't you take advantage of and make it smell like lemons? But I feel like most lip usually smells like cake, which that's what this smells yeah. like. Yeah. It just smells good, I mean, but that's kind of classic for, I feel like, any kind of gloss or liquid lipstick. Hmm. I like it. Well, all I have, I have my lip mask on right now. So I'll just put it over it. Ooh, I really like this. I think I'm, I'm gonna use this a lot. Mm -hmm. yeah, it smells really good. I really want to eat it. So far, not sticky, but that's <laughs> last time. The last, last time, last time. I, I know it wasn't sticky, and then all of a sudden, it, once it dried, it was sticky. Uh huh. But this one actually feels really smooth. It has like a little bit of color to it, but not really. A lot of shimmer. I really like that. I like shimmer way more than you do. Yeah, you do. I can see the shimmer. It's more of a glossy shimmer, which I'm okay with that. Mm -hmm. I really like it. Yeah. Okay. A little carried away here, but other than that, yeah. I don't think it's gonna get sticky. It doesn't seem like it's gonna be that mm -mm. consistency. That's really nice. I think this is probably one of the favorite she has, lip glosses um, I've had. Of eyeshadows. Okay. The brand, yeah. I actually um, followed her. She was one of the first YouTubers that I followed. She was one of the faces, I think, of Ipsy, too. Like, when we first got into Ipsy. Okay. I Maybe think that's, that's, that's how I found out about her. And then that's when I kind of got into, really got into YouTube. And I was watching her all the time. But, yeah, super, super sweet girl. You can just tell, like... I don't think she's one of those that are, you know, super nice on camera, but then in person to get her people. Yeah, I think I've heard multiple people say that she's like a really, really nice person. So, um, yeah, I really like that. I don't know. Yeah, that could, that could still be sticky. Yeah, that might be my favorite item. The lip gloss. Yeah, <laughs> I really like it. 
Well, because I think it's I mean, these two. Yeah. I, this really, like, I felt like my face was silky after. Yeah. And we can't talk about those items yet because we haven't tried them. Yeah. This, but, that one's, I'm sorry, a little unnecessary. I just don't understand essence. Like, I just don't understand it. I don't understand. I don't understand. Do you know what that's from? I do. Okay. Oh, my God. Um, <laughs> and then I really did like this, but it's just, we just had a product like this, and... I But I like this one better. That's true, too. I do. I know you do, but I don't. I like it, though. I do like it. So, yeah, I'm going to still stick with it. This is my favorite item. Dominique Cosmetics. Yeah. Um, and I guess we'll let you guys know how we feel about the other one. The only problem is that I'm still using my other cleanser. Well, I'm going to be out of mine soon, so I think I'm going to switch back and forth because I'm going to be upset once oh, it's gone. Oh, yeah, once it's gone. Well, what was it again? What kind? Um, I just love the bottle of it. And I guess oh, yeah. The... It was a Glam Glow. Glam Glow, yes. I had to think about it for a second. I know. The so, rainbow iridescent kind of looking. I really like the oil slick. Yeah. Is that what it's called? Mm -hmm. The oil slick? No. Oh. It's oil. I feel like it looks makes like me think of a unicorn for some reason. Oh. Well, it's, it's an oil slick, so I don't have to tell you. Um, but yeah, I would say um, this wasn't a bad box. It was mm -mm. pretty good. I mean, just the tracking pissed me off, but Boxy, I love it. Let's like, get it like together. Oh, and I forgot to mention this is called Boxy Getaway. Which, why is it called Getaway? Because it's summer and we gotta get it get away, I guess, but usually there's something in here that goes with the theme. I don't know about this theme. Mm. Yeah, no, nothing. I'm like looking over know. it. I'm like, no, know. nothing goes along with it. But I think that this box was like a um, pretty good value, I think, altogether. Since, again, you're oh. only paying. Oh, should we mention about the tax? Okay, so I've been meaning to ask you. I'm like, they keep saying $21, but I got charged more than 21 It was like 22 something. So I'm they not added it over an extra dollar something, yeah, but, but tell let me. you know. They Tell did me. say that, well, I don't think they even stated it. I think that people were commenting, they're like, oh, we're going to start charging sales tax now in some states. Which makes sense. And yeah, and I'm not sure if it's every state yet, but I know that's what they're saying is that some states started before others. So if you lived in a certain state, you were charged more before. And they're still going to get this question all the time because I don't know about anybody else, but I don't usually check how much they're charging. Um, I only do because I look at my bank statement. Oh, yeah. Um, See, I don't usually I, online, do so. unless there's some reason I need to be cautioned about something. But, yeah. yeah. So, I, half the time I think people don't notice. And when they do, they kind of freak out. But it's just sales tax. So. Yeah, it's a dollar something. So, I'm not going to trip over it. But, like, tell me, though. Like, so, it's not $21. Like, did you raise your price? <laughs> like, at first I thought they raised their price, which is fine. Yeah. But tell me that yeah. you're going to raise it. I definitely give this box a thumbs up. We definitely Two. like it. Um, and I guess that's it for our video. Yeah. Uh, don't forget to uh, give this video a like if you enjoyed our BoxyCharm videos. Um, maybe let us know what your favorite product is, maybe that you got or what we got. Um, I really would like to know. I was kind of curious what people like the most in their box, if they think it's worth it or not. Um, or if they like their other items more, like the items that we didn't get. Oh, yeah. I, that's why, I mean, I love having the sneak peeks, but sometimes I'm just like, that's what I wanted. And it kind of gets people's hopes up. But I feel like I got I have like, to know what I wanted out of different choices. Most of the time, with yeah. The palette. Yeah. No, that's true, too. Um, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And make sure if you're not already, you're following us on Instagram. Underscore 20beauty underscore. And we'll see you in our next video. Bye.